Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can live well off inside of a recession. Three different strategies that you could use today. Now, before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now, click the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money, and you can receive up to five free stocks valued up to $9,000. With those free stocks, you can keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you can sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. And the last link in the description is to Moomoo. Right now, you can receive six free stocks. You sign up with Moomoo and deposit $100, you can receive a free share of Lucid. I think Lucid is around over $10 for sure right now. But um, once again, you can use that, get your free shares by the depositing hundred dollars it's literally free money guys to not miss out on that opportunity now back to the video guys i have lost over half of my income per month over the last couple of months or so now youtube is paying the youtube advertisers are now paying out a lot less because advertisers are not willing to invest that much into advertising on youtube or other social media platforms or even commercials or tv shows that is of course because we have been seeing the united states um economy and the downfall in these big large companies do, do not have the same budgets they had last year in 2021 that they have this year in 2022 to even invest inside the stock market so yes i did lose over half of my income from youtube and from other sponsorship ads because they're not able to pay that much and a lot of you guys are wondering how am i able to survive well in this video i'm going to give you three tips on how i lost half of my income and i'm still able to live well off inside of a recession so tip number one is don't be house poor now house poor pretty much means that you're paying way too much for your house than than you can afford on your average monthly income so here's the rule of thumb the 28 percent rule of thumb 28 percent is a rule generally guideline that says that you should try to spend no more than 28 percent of your monthly gross income on houses expenses to determine what your monthly home ownership budget should be under this rule simply multiply your monthly income by 28 percent so for example if you brought in fifty thousand dollars every single year you divide that by 12 that means you're bringing in before taxes four thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars every single month and if you multiply that by 0 0.28 percent that means you should not be spending more than one thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars on your monthly houses expenses guys so let's say you live in a household where you have two sources of income your husband or your wife multiply that by two now you can spend up to $2,333 on, on your home expenses before it reaches over the 28% rule of thumb. Now, the reason that you don't wanna be house poor, let's say you're only making $50,000 a year and you're paying $1,700, $1,800 a month on your living expenses, that means you are a house poor. Majority of your money is going to your house and so you're not able to spend it on anything else. You can't go shopping, you can't go eat good food, and you don't have any money to save in or invest. That is the big thing, guys. Do not be house poor at any time. Yes, there have been months where I made more money than I expected. There's been months where I made so much money to where it was like, hey, I could upgrade my house. Hey, I could upgrade my car. But no, I stay on my same living expenses that I've been on for the last couple of years, guys. So when I did have that extra income, I could put that aside. I could invest it. And all of my money was not going to a new house that I bought or a new car or a new car I was going to have to pay my lease on. No, I still stay at the same living expenses no matter what my income was just so that i don't become house poor in the future guys so so the way that the market is there's no telling what's going to happen so even though i lost half of my income from youtube i'm still not house poor because i did not upgrade my living lifestyle just because i had one good year of success on youtube i want to have at least three four five maybe six years of success on youtube of consistent growth before i even think about upgrading my house income just so that i don't be house poor so that's tip number one guys don't be house poor don't be spending way too much money on your house that you don't have any other money to even have fun or invest into yourself or invest into your financial freedom or invest into the stock market or even invest into your own business i don't know why i keep forgetting that one but yeah guys don't be house poor that's tip number one all right so that's going to lead us to tip number two if you're not house poor that means you have a little extra money on the side tip number two to in order to feel safe and comfortable inside of a recession is, is to have a good amount of money put away in your savings now i'm not saying that you should save every single dollar that you own don't invest any of it or i'm not saying hey all your money should be investments and none and savings you should always have some money in your in your savings and a rule of thumb for your savings is to have at least 
three to six months where if you was to not make another dime at all for the next three months that you have enough money put away in your savings that would cover your living expenses for that month so the rule of thumb is three to six months i have enough money in my savings to where if i if i didn't make another dime for the next 12 months i would be fine so let's say um every single month your complete living expenses after you pay your car note your house note and your food and groceries you end up paying around two thousand five hundred dollars a month now i know that sounds crazy but i live in texas to people outside of texas i'm pretty sure that number is much higher but for me let's just say it's two thousand five hundred dollars a month so if i if something was to happen and i need a savings account for three months i need to put around away around seven thousand five hundred dollars and for the next six months around fifteen thousand dollars inside of my savings account and that could take me anywhere from a year or two years to get um seven thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars say inside of my savings account but once you have enough money saved up in your savings account to where you don't have to worry about anything for the next three to six months just in case anything happened in a recession so let's say uh if jobs have a cutback um if jobs don't pay out their bonuses like they used to pay out their bonuses or just anything happened during the recession that you will be comfortable for the next three to six months in order to not make a dime and still be comfortable and once you have your savings account filled up then you can start investing inside the stock market your business or yourself or your financial freedom guys so that's another way to feel real off inside of a recession by having money stashed away inside of your savings account all right guys the third way is how i started this channel and that's from dividend investings now dividend investing is investing into different companies inside the stock market that pays out dividends dividends is by far the easiest way to earn passive income i mean you literally do nothing at all and these companies send you a check every single month or every single quarter now dividend companies that i love investing into during a recession are dividend kings that mean they are companies like coca-cola um johnson and johnson procter and gamble pepsico these companies right here has been increasing their dividend payments for the last 50 years is in an end is inside of the um s p 500 that means no matter how many recessions they've been through no matter how many pandemics they've been through they was able to increase their dividend payments for the last 50 years that means these are some recession proof stocks to where if you invest in Inside these companies for every share that you own they're going to mail you out a check or they're going to directly deposit into your um, brokerage account every single quarter or every single month no matter what happens so this is a, a good way of passive income and i build me up a pretty decent sized dividend portfolio that is able to pay my bills to my house without me having to lift my finger at all so good solid companies like coca-cola um, pepsi johnson and johnson procter and gamble they are able to pay my bills by me doing absolutely nothing at all just from investing to dividends and i know that i'm going to have consistent income from these dividend paying companies because they have not cut the dividends for the last 50 years guys that's longer than i've even been alive so if you guys want to know what dividend companies i'm investing into i'm gonna leave a link down in the comment section that's to my patreon the patreon to take it to my discord inside the discord i post every single time i buy and sell a stock plus my swing trades option trades and we have pro day traders in there that are also going to start doing chart lessons inside there so if you guys want to be a part of a great community of traders great community of investors and like-minded people that are just like you that are investing inside that financial freedom and you want to be a part of a community all in one place go ahead and click the link down in the comment section and that'll take you to my discord all right so now that's going to take us to way number four and it kind of bounces off of uh, way number one don't be house poor what option number four is don't be state poor so if you can't afford to live inside of your state sorry to say it might be a tough move but you might have to get up and move out so let's just say for example that you're living in a six hundred seven hundred thousand dollar house in la seven hundred thousand dollar house in seattle seven hundred thousand dollars out in la would get you maybe the smallest little square house that you've ever seen might have a front yard might not have a backyard might be sharing a duplex with somebody else but seven hundred thousand dollars would get you next to nothing inside of la and even with the prices going up in the state of texas on housing you could literally sell your house in la seattle washington you could sell them in these expensive states sell your seven hundred thousand dollar house move out to texas and buy a 300 or four hundred thousand dollar house and that house will be the size of 
this whole block. You will buy the whole block for four hundred thousand dollars in Texas. I mean, you would have to pay someone to cut your lawn. That's how big your yard is gonna be. You're gonna have upstairs, downstairs, pool in your backyard, all for four hundred thousand dollars. So yeah, with four hundred thousand dollars, it could get you a lot. So now you're selling your seven hundred thousand dollar house. You buy a house in Texas for three hundred and fifty thousand. Now you got an extra three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in straight cash that you can use to jumpstart your life. That you can either invest. Um, buy another rental property, buy a couple of Airbnbs out in Texas. So if you did make that move, you could buy a bigger house in a different state, start your new life, have hundreds of thousands of dollars on the side to start any other kind of business company investments that you want to do on your own that you could get started in the next couple of months, guys. So, so if you are living in Texas and it's still very expensive for you, then you guys already know my next answer, move to Cabo, Mexico, living out there. I mean, you go out there with a hundred dollars, you could live like a king. They, I love going to Mexico. Every time I get the opportunity though, I could go out there and buy Corona for 65 cents compared to $2 and 99 cents at the gas station out here in Texas. So yes, um, if you are, state poor in texas then consider moving to another country where you will have beautiful sights beautiful oceans and a beautiful breeze so these are the top four things that i do in order to live successful inside a recession even though i lost half of my income um i'm not house poor i have my savings already set away just in case anything ever happens I invest inside dividend paying companies and I live in a pretty cheap state to where I can have a pretty big house for next to nothing. So if you guys are already doing some of these things, let me know which strategy are you using down in the comment section. I can't wait to read what you guys are writing down in the comment section. If you guys are using any of these strategies at all, I can't wait to see what you wrote. But yeah, guys, that's the end of my video. Don't forget to get your free stocks from Weeble. Don't forget to get your free stocks from Moomoo. It's free money, guys. Do not miss on that opportunity. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel, hit the thumbs up button. That helps out this channel more than you could even imagine but other than that guys i'm zeke bring you the dream green show i'm out peace